Well, today the Sacred Heart Roman Catholic Church is a non-denominational chapel. Anybody can use it. Then in 1969, the Natchez-Jackson Diocese donated the building to the Rodney Foundation because it's one of the best remaining examples of carpenter Gothic church architecture in Mississippi. Now, in our last story, we visit another church known for its Gothic architecture and a lot more. We're at St. Mary's Basilica in Natchez, the heart of Catholicism here in the city. And this is the first church in the state of Mississippi erected to celebrate the Catholic faith. There are major basilicas and minor basilicas. The major ones are all in Rome. And as a way of bestowing like a papal blessing or a designation on other churches that are significant for either history or architecture or you know something important that happened in the faith, the Pope will designate a church as a basilica, a minor basilica. And that's what we have here in Natchez at St. Mary's is a minor basilica. There's 70 something basilicas in the United States. Uh, there's not one in every state, which is pretty neat that we have one here in, uh, in Mississippi. I believe the significance of St. Mary Basilica is that we are considered part of the first Gothic revival style in the United States, along with St. Alphonsus in Baltimore. Well, I was baptized here, and I'm 77 years old. I was an antique dealer, and when I retired, I became active in the church. The then pastor, Father O'Connor, invited me to do an inventory of what he called sacred vessels, which are the chalices and accessories of that kind that we have stored in the archives. About 25 years ago, the pastor at the time, he developed an archives committee, and they meet regularly, and they've really cataloged so much papers, correspondence, um, articles of faith from different time periods, from different generations, uh, stuff that belonged to our bishops, their chairs, their chalices, their clothes sometimes, different, different things you know, that are important for us here. And I don't know of any other church, Catholic-wise, in the state that has it. Nobody's old enough. This is the oldest. So this is, we really have a lot of treasures here. This is uh, exceptional, what they have done here. I'm very impressed with the few churches that I've been through. Uh, you know, sacrament rec records are common, but to have this much stuff from your pe previous pastors and this much history in written form uh, and preserved is very exceptional. So we've got books from the 1700s, the earliest days, into the 1800s of every baptism, marriage, and there should be even deaths and other sacraments reported. Uh, and we still have that in our office here. Well, it's considered one of the more uh, popular places to come and visit here in town because of the architecture, because of the age, uh, all of it uh, pre-war, pre-Civil War, or most of it is. A lot of people come to see the beauty of the windows, the architecture. Uh, it's a, it is a nice place to come in and to see. The tour aspect is major because of the city of Natchez is a major tour attraction. I think we're in the top five, the top three in the country for historical significance. And uh, the church has always been open to the public. It's never been a closed door situation. And it's rather obvious, you know, we're in the center of town and we're the biggest thing in the center of town. So the church has always been an attraction just by this presence. Every day, the church doors are open. The big doors are open. And St. Mary's Basilica gets to welcome the world because we have riverboat traffic and we have people traveling across this the state, we have people traveling across the United States, taking you know pilgrimage trips to see the, the houses or different things, and they come here, and you'll have people from Europe and 
all over the world, all over the United States that are coming right here to Mississippi, to Natchez, and get to experience something that's important to me, but that's a, important in a historical part of the state of Mississippi. Still today, we have a full parish, we have 680 families, we still have mass every day, and there's still, you know, the faith is alive here in Natchez, has been since the beginning. And this building's been here for 180 some odd years. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, subscribe to Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Till next time, I'll be seeing you on Mississippi Roads.